Hello and welcome to my video. Today we're going to be watching the worst rated anime of all time, Tenku Danzai Skelter Plus Heaven. Am I supposed to say the plus? I don't know. But it has a whopping score of 1.86 on my anime list, so it's going to be a treat. So let's get right into it. <laughs> We're already off to a strong start. So, uh, is anything gonna happen? Oh, there we go. Finally. What? <laughs> what was that? I was enjoying the nice the nice atmosphere that was being created by that of beginning uh, 1 minute and 10 seconds of nothing but then they just like blast my ears with this static noise <laughs> I hope the whole anime doesn't sound like this that's gonna be torture okay good so I think that now they're just talking on walkie talkies or whatever so that's why it sounds like this but why'd you have to do it like that? You didn't have to blow my ears out to show that, hey, we're talking on walkie-talkies. Alright, and now we've hit the opening. So we're almost three and a half minutes into this anime, and nothing has happened. Keep in mind, this anime is only one episode long, and this one episode is 19 minutes. Okay, so now we're finally into the actual show, but this guy who was talking, he repeated pretty much the same line four times. Some of the scenes in this anime are pretty drawn out, like unnecessarily drawn out. I'll leave some of them in, like some of them intact, I won't cut them down so you can see how unnecessarily long these scenes are. Like you see that? Why do you have to walk down the hallway for so long? The flow of that conversation was not very good. It sounded like they took each individual voice line that each character said and just like piece them together and like oh here let's not have them talk on top of each other so let's add some space in between them but then they added too much space between them and it didn't go very well and they have this really long lingering shot after the conversation they also show all like the girls like the actual like the characters in this show but for no reason like this head guy says are you ready to strike he's like yeah and then they go to show these girls why <laughs> Whoa, that transition gave me whiplash. What was that? The use of CG here is pretty gross. Like the the mech looks nice, but the girl in the mech, not too good. What was that fall? They felt like toys! They were just like, phew! <laughs> they didn't even move, they were just like, phew! <laughs> what was that? That girl was just lying there on the floor, just like, staring forward as they were talking. Then all of a sudden, her neck like, snaps at light speed to look at the sky. Look at that! Oh, 
Okay, so when I first saw this scene, I thought that she meant she was in the shower for five years. But it turns out that they transitioned to a flashback after that, which they don't make very clear at all. They just fade to another screen. They don't have anything to indicate like, oh, this isn't what, like, this isn't actually part of the show. This is a flashback. Why are they making that noise? It's just a chair that's moving up and down. Why are you making that noise? Is this training? Are they training? Why are they on the chair? Is there like something on the chair that's making her do that? I'm not gonna say what it is, but if there's something on the chair... And was that the end of the flashback? I have no idea what that was. That didn't explain anything to me. <laughs> So we get our first big view of our enemy, and it's just a giant Mario squid. Here, let me put a, put a Mario squid in my hand. It's just a giant one of these things. Oh, personal feelings. Ooh, there might be something going on between Shower Girl and this guy. If it wasn't made obvious by the flashback when she he grabbed her shoulder. Ooh, they're causing some drama. <laughs> so these girls are flying around this creature, and it doesn't do anything to them until they shoot it. Before in an earlier scene, we see it shoot down a bunch of helicopters that are just flying around it. So maybe this creature really likes girls. What was that? Did it just grow a bunch of hair? <laughs> or are they roots? They look like roots. Why? For whatever reason, this shower girl flew over and just started hugging the jet of the commander. And then that was an abrupt transition. You know, before I was saying you should do transitions, right, so I don't get whiplash in my neck. But that was too abrupt. So apparently that transition was to cut to a flashback to explain that these girls were created in a lab and that they had to be kept under strict guidance in case they turn against these people. And the whole time while this guy is explaining it, there's like these loud booping keyboard noises that play. So like we can barely hear his voice. <laughs> Okay, so what it seems like happened there was they had these two flashbacks they wanted to portray, but they didn't know how to transition between them, so they just flashed back to the present. For whatever reason, they didn't add any noise to that, and then just immediately go to this next flashback. Oh, she's already having some uh, an, uh, existential crisis, I see. Or maybe she's already plotting to take over the world. So 
So there it looked like they were trying to create a nice sentimental moment between them, like a nice bonding moment to show that they're, have, they're close, they have a nice relationship with each other. But it didn't really work that well, especially because of what they were saying. The guy was saying, you need to follow my orders, and she's like, your orders for sure. Oh, you're always so obedient. Like, what kind of like flirting is that? So this girl's mech now falls apart, and the commander just all of a sudden starts flying in his jet. Great. Could have saved your girl there. You know, it seems to me that you're trying to kill her. You sent her into the most dangerous job. You pretend that your jet's not working until she dies. Pretty suspicious to me. Now the Mario squid has a whole network of roots that it has sprouted. Okay, another flashback just inserted out of nowhere. So after the flashback, the commander decides, hey, you know what? I'm gonna spare these girls. I'm gonna fly in there myself. Then just wait to see what happens when he does that. What a surprise! Oh, my chair is so sweet. Great. Let's see where this goes. All of a sudden she goes like super mega mode and is able to dodge all of the little hairs from the Mario squid and for some reason it just stops attacking her when she gets like right up next to it. What was that? There's some nice music playing, they were creating a nice mood and then all of a sudden it just goes silent. No, not this noise again. I've already been traumatized enough by the beginning of this. Why'd you have to bring it back? Okay, so it seems the girl got inside of the Mario Squid. The Mario Squid! And is just floating around inside, because apparently there's no gravity inside of it, even though she should be affected by the gravity of the Earth while inside of it, still. <laughs> What? So it seems that this alien is talking to the shower girl, but it's like broadcasting what it's saying right into her mind. I don't understand why they chose to do this. It just makes it confusing. What I could put together is that the core is telling her that humans only act according to their desires and uh, are very destructive and that's why it's there to get rid of the humans but she's like no that's only a small part of the humans i have to defeat you not for the humans but for the one person i must protect and then all of a sudden her mech rematerializes out of nowhere then another transition out of nowhere Wow. Wonderful. That looked so good. Oh, 
Oh no, it's so sad. Did she die? Poor guy. Poor guy. He lost the love of his life after she told him he lo she loved him. Okay, and apparently the giant squid just turned into a pool of blood in the shape of itself. So this big guy goes and deletes the commander from his phone contacts, apparently. I don't know why. Probably because he did something bad. But I don't know why he was talking about the product. He was like, it's not the fault of the product, it's the fault of the user. Like, that's essentially what he says. I don't know. I don't know what he did. Was it that he risked his life to save these girls? I guess that's what it is. He risked his life to save these girls who he wasn't supposed to be care caring about. Rinji News. Yes. Sakihodo, Tokyo Joku ni Nazo no buttai ga fukusu shitsugen shimashita. Gorena no buttai wa ichinen mae jiyetai ni yotte taimu kusakusare mashita. And then we end on zooming out from the Earth. What a full circle. You know, that's a good essay. You bring it full circle at the end. Then it ends with two minutes left. Okay, so only 14 of these 19 minutes were actually used for the anime. And within that, most of it, or a huge portion of it, was just empty, wasted space for extra long, drawn-out shots. It feels like the people who made this anime just made it for the sake of making an anime. Like, they didn't really put any thought or passion into it. Like, the extent of their thinking about it was like, oh, what are some things that are popular in anime? A dramatic backstory. Okay. A reveal of love. Then the person who confessed their love goes to their death. Amazing! Some drama? Yeah, let's sprinkle some of that in there. Hey, you know what else would attract people? Scantily clad, cute girls. You know, just meshing good things together doesn't make something good. Like, let's say you want to make a cake, right? But you don't know how. So you throw in some flour, some milk, and some eggs, right? Or uh, whatever you put into a cake. Right, then you mix it all together, all nice and all everything, and then you just dump in a ton of sugar. That's not going to make a good cake. Yes, it's going to be sweet, but sweetness is not the only aspect of a cake. It's the same thing with this anime. It feels like they just threw together the basic elements, then tried to make it appealing by adding some eye candy. This anime also had so many lingering shots, and I feel they did that because they had a certain length they needed to reach, but not enough content to reach it. So they had to try to, to stretch out anything they could to meet that quota. They could have used that time to establish the characters more, you know, like to build a greater connection with them. Like as it is right now, they're just random girls on the screen. Like most of them only say three or four lines, so we don't really get to know them at all. It's like, oh this girl, she got slapped by the alien's tentacle, oh that's a bummer. Oh her friend is upset. Oh man, that sucks. And like that one girl who was crying, yeah, we know she's proud. All like, hey, I'm better than everyone else. But that's all we know about her. And we don't even see her act that way in the end. When they're fighting, she's just there with everyone else. She doesn't try to overachieve. And she was even supportive of her teammate and stood back while someone else went in and took the hard job. The only characters really learn stuff about are the commander and the girl who was in the shower for five years. And even then, we don't learn much. Like, we know that the shower girl is an artificial being, and in the flashback where they reveal that, they start alluding to something that could lead to a climax. Like, the girls could turn against the commander and his whole corporation or whatever they are. Then 
They could have had the shower girl protect those people and go against those other girls. That would have been much better than what we had here. Now, I'm not saying that my idea would have been amazing, but I think it would have been more interesting and exciting than what happened here. And this artificial thing doesn't even relate back to anything else in the story. They don't do anything past just mentioning it. Another thing we learn about them, well, we don't even learn anything from this, but it's the scene where the commander and the shower girl are having their moment. I'm not gonna do this. They don't get two fingers for this. That's how little of a moment it is. They don't even bond or build a connection with each other. They try to make it seem like there's something going on by adding some nice music. But again, doing that stuff doesn't mean it's going to be what you want it to be. This anime wasn't so agonizing as much as it was empty. There's no substance to it, and the viewer doesn't really get anything out of watching it. It's more of a waste of time than anything. Okay, so I just found out that this anime was based on a visual novel of the same name. Now, I might play it eventually if you want me to. So, you know, leave a like and tell me in the comments, hey, play the the, the, the visual novel, and then I probably will. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making it, and it's something unlike anything I've done before, so I hope it turns out okay. I've been wanting to make content like this for a while, but I just kept pushing it off. But here I am, making this video. If you liked it, leave a like and tell me in the comments, and also hit that subscribe button because I plan to do more videos like this in the future. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Jeez, I've been recording for an hour.